Welcome to pre-math. In this video tutorial, we are going to find the value of x power 5 plus 1 over x power 5 if x plus 1 over x is 5. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up to this video. So let's go ahead and get started with the solution and here's the very first thing we are going to do. Let's focus on this 1 over x power 5. And here I have copied down 1 over x power 5 and on the numerator 1 could be written as 1 power 5. So we can write this one as 1 over x and then a whole power 5. So therefore 1 over x power 5 could be written as 1 over x power 5. And likewise 1 over x power 3 could be written as 1 over x power 3. And same for 1 over x square. And now here's our very first step. Let's recall this well-known formula a plus b square equals to a square plus 2ab plus b square. Let me go ahead and move this 2ab on the left hand side. Then we can write a square plus b square equals to a plus b whole square minus 2ab. And now if I let a equals to x and b equals to 1 over x then this equation could be written as x square plus 1 over x square equals to x plus 1 over x whole square minus 2 times x times 1 over x now we can see that x and this x cancels out and we know that this x plus 1 over x is the value 5. So therefore we can write x square plus 1 over x square equals to, I'm going to replace this one by 5. So I'm going to put down 5 square minus, once they cancel out we ended up with just simply 2. So therefore our x square plus 1 over x square value turns out to be simply 23. And here's our next step. Let's recall this time this formula a plus b power 3 which is equal to a cube plus 3a square b plus 3ab square plus b cube. Let's go ahead and put these a cube and b cube together and focus on these two terms. Here we can see we have a 3ab in common. So therefore this could be written as a cube plus b cube plus 3ab we factored out and inside the parentheses we got a plus b and now let's go ahead and move this 3ab times a plus b on the other side and now let's assume that a is x and b is 1 over x then this equation is going to become simply x cube plus 1 over x cube equals to simply x plus 1 over x whole power 3 minus 3 times x times 1 over x and then times x plus 1 over x. And now we can see that this x and this 1 over x they cancel each other out and we know that x plus 1 over x has a value 5 and likewise x plus 1 over x has a value 5 as well. So thus our x cube plus 1 over x cube could be written as uh, this simply become 5 power 3 minus 3 times 5. And now we know that 5 power 3 is 125. So therefore our x cube plus 1 over x cube value turns out to be 125 minus 15 is going to give us 110. 
And here's our next step. Let's go ahead and multiply these two binomials. The first one is a square plus b square. The other one is a cube plus b cube. And we are going to use this rainbow method. That means a double distribution. Here, if we multiply like this way, double distribution, we are going to get simply a power 5 plus a square b power 3 plus b square a power 3 plus b power 5. And now let's go ahead and put these two terms together, a power 5 and b power 5 together. And look at these two terms, we can see that a square b square is in common. So therefore, this could be written as a power 5 plus b power 5. And here we're going to factor out a square b square times a plus b. And now in this next step, this a square b square could be written as a b and then power 2. And now in this next step, we're going to move everything this part on the other side. So therefore, we can write a power 5 plus b power 5 equal to a square plus b square times a cube plus b cube and then minus a b whole square times a plus b. And now let's assume that a equals to x and b equals to 1 over x then our this whole equation is going to become simply x power 5 plus 1 over x power 5 could be written as x square plus 1 over x square and then times x cube plus 1 over x cube and then minus x times 1 over x and then we are going to put them inside this bracket and then square and then times x plus 1 over x. And now we can see that this x and 1 over x this is gone and we know that x square plus 1 over x square value is 23 x cube plus 1 over x cube value is 110 and x plus 1 over x value is 5 so thus we can write this one as simply this is going to be 23 times 110 minus this is simply become 1 square and then times 5 so thus our x power 5 plus 1 over x power 5 value simply turns out to be 25, 25. So thus our required value turns out to be 25, 25 and that's our final answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.